meet Tommy, a middle-aged man trapped in the monotony of his unexciting life. Since his heartbreak two years ago, he's been loitering around his ex fiancees home, hoping to mend the past. Living with his mother, he faces a future that seems bleak. One ordinary day, as Tommy heads home from his dreary job, a sleek limo cruises by, revealing none other than the famous actor Andy Samberg. Astonishingly, Andy calls Tommy, and in a starstruck moment, Tommy becomes the fanboy. Andy, mysterious as ever, invites him into the limo without much ado. Surprising Tommy, Andy unveils a card with intricate details about him. Turns out he's the chosen one for a game show, the nature of which even Andy is unaware. With cameras in his home and omnipotent organizers, Tommy hesitates but agrees, craving an escape from his mundane life. In an abandoned warehouse, Andy drops Tommy off, wishing him luck. As Tommy explores, he encounters two older men, the show's producers. Congratulating him on being part of the biggest dark web reality show, they reveal the game to survive for 30 days against a global network of assassins to win a million dollars. Terrified, Tommy learns that the assassins can strike anywhere, anytime. The producers assure him that if the hunters fail to reach him, he will get the prize without a scratch. Concerned for his loved ones, Tommy is reassured. The assassins can only attack when he's alone. Convinced he can rally support, Tommy joins the perilous game. Back at home, Tommy, brimming with excitement, shares the news of his impending adventure with his skeptical family. They scoff at his claim of meeting Andy Samberg, dismissing it as absurd. Despite his pleas about needing constant company, and even attempting to find a companion on Craigslist, they chalk it up to loneliness, assuming he's concocting tales because of his ex's new baby. A week elapses without any attacks, reinforcing their skepticism. However, on day five, a restless night jolts Tommy awake to peculiar noises. Sensing a presence, he discovers an open back door and a misplaced camera, convinced the hunters are closing in. Desperate, he calls his mother, pleading for her to come home, but she dismisses it as another bout of his supposed delusions. With no familial refuge, Tommy seeks solace at his sister's house. Describing the bizarre events to his brother-in-law, Malcolm brushes it off as nonsense. Fearful of solitude, Tommy convinces Malcolm to share a bed. Midnight disturbances reveal Malcolm absent, prompting Tommy to discover a stranger outside with a shotgun. Panicked, he rushes Malcolm, only to find the hunter vanished. Infuriated, Malcolm, feeling humiliated, ejects Tommy from his home. Outside, Tommy encounters a homeless man, enlisting Malcolm to watch him until he reaches the destitute soul. In a swift move, Tommy convinces the homeless man to join him, offering daily cash in exchange for companionship. The man, having no other options, gladly accepts. The following morning, Tommy's family is taken aback by the presence of the newfound companion, James, in the house. Concerns arise about their mother's safety, and they question Tommy's trust in this stranger, also expressing displeasure about the incident with Malcolm the previous night. Tommy, apologizing for his actions, asserts that James is here to stay. Days roll by and Tommy abides by the rules, spending all his time with James, navigating work and leisure together. On day 13, a response to Tommy's Craigslist ad catches his attention. A woman named Maddie claims to be another participant in the game. Skeptical yet finding solace in shared struggles, they plan to meet the next day. However, in a momentary lapse of awareness, Tommy forgets he's alone and is suddenly attacked by a towering figure in Michael Jackson's attire. Despite asserting he's not alone, the attacker insists otherwise. Miraculously, Tommy escapes and seeks refuge with a bouncer, who becomes a witness as James arrives, apologizing for his tardiness. The next day, Tommy and James cautiously meet Maddie at a cafe. Doubting her intentions, Tommy questions why she's alone if she's also a participant. Maddie points to a woman nearby, claiming her to be her mother. Amid their conversation, Maddie reveals she has 15 days left while Tommy has 16. Tommy proposes they team up to conquer the challenges and win together. Initially hesitant to spend time with a new acquaintance, Maddie agrees to give it a shot for a day. They head to Maddie's home, where she showcases her ceramics collection. While exploring, Tommy stumbles upon the familiar tiny camera, realizing the hunters have infiltrated Maddie's space. As they share their life stories, Maddie discloses her past marriage and divorce, while Tommy unveils a 23-year relationship that ended a few years ago. 
When asked about the breakup, Tommy confesses to being clueless about the reason. Maddie encourages him to confront his ex, and they head to Teresa's house. Inside meeting Teresa after two years, Tommy gathers the courage to ask why she left. Teresa admits to becoming bored and dissatisfied despite their long history. Maddie intervenes, asserting herself as Tommy's new partner, promising a future filled with adventures. With closure, Tommy bids farewell to Teresa, choosing to move on. C. Felmany apologizes for her interference, but Tommy appreciates her support. Thanking her for the encouragement, she suggests they become partners and spend the remaining days together. Artuo heads to a bar for some fun, where they open up about their pasts. Maddie reveals her parents' divorce at age 10, a traumatic event influencing her relationship choices. Tommy shares how his father disappeared during his childhood, reminiscing about a normal evening of video games and laughter before the sudden absence. Later, at Maddie's house, they decide to sleep together. Maddie's hesitant mother places a cushion between them. At midnight, a hunter awakens Tommy, declaring him the favorite character. Crew members emerge, revealing the show's orchestrated nature. An alarmed Tommy realizes Maddie is missing, questioning the hunter about the non-attack. The hunter labels him a favorite character, warning of the unsafe environment. Once the hunters depart, Maddie returns, drink in hand, a frightened Tommy insists they leave due to the recent encounter. They check into a motel, deciding to spend their remaining days there. Curious about their motivations for joining the show, Maddie admits boredom and a desire for a drastic change. Tommy confesses to a monotonous, lonely routine, seeking an escape. As they drift into sleep, a hunter targets Tommy but notices Maddie's presence, opting to retreat. Confronting the intruder, Tommy and Maddie argue with the man, dismissing his claim of being a maintenance worker. Tommy panics, insisting they leave the motel. Maddie reassures him, emphasizing their unity in facing the challenges together. Realizing the seriousness of their situation, Tommy emphasizes the need to be vigilant. On day 16, they spend every moment together, growing closer and adopting a relationship-like lifestyle. Amid this, Tommy receives a Craigslist message from another player claiming to have game-related information. Maddie, cautious, suggests avoiding the meetup fearing the stranger might be a hunter. Tommy, however, believes in aiding those facing similar challenges. They meet the mysterious player at a cafe, where he reveals the game is a dark web comedy, watched for laughs. Their participants, often lonely and easily manipulated, are targeted by bizarrely dressed assassins. The revelation leaves Maddie upset, prompting her to request a break from their partnership to gather her thoughts. As Tommy worries about her safety, Maddie insists on space. They decide to part ways. Tommy returns to his mother's house, living with James. One night, a hunter wakes him, directing him outside to a car. And to his astonishment, he finds his estranged father after 30 years, now living in Cleveland and sober. Tommy, concerned about Maddie's safety, deflects deeper conversation with his father, feeling unprepared for such a discussion. In response to Tommy's hesitation, his estranged father warns him not to repeat the mistakes he made in his relationships. On day 26, Tommy visits Maddie, requesting a resumption of their partnership. Maddie, witnessing the sincerity in his eyes, confesses she was never part of the game. Bored, she stumbled upon his Craigslist ad, deciding to have some fun. Before Tommy can process this revelation, his mother urgently texts him about an emergency. Anxious, he rushes home, leaving James behind. On his way, he encounters an Ellen DeGeneres impersonator who attacks but flees upon noticing witnesses. At home, Tommy discovers his family hired an interventionist to end his perceived madness. With only four days left to win the challenge, Tommy refuses to let his family obstruct him. He informs them about confronting Theresa and meeting his father, and dismisses their concerns as insanity accusations. Unable to convince them, Tommy flees with James. The two spend the night by the road, where James discloses his real name is Walter. Tommy, grateful for the support, promises to buy him a place if he wins. The next morning, Tommy wakes up to find James gone. Upset but realizing the safety of the homeless, he spends the next three days chatting with people under the bridge. On the final day, a hunter urges Tommy into a limo, revealing they took James due to the repetitive relationship which bored the audience. Terrified, Tommy learns James is safe in a motel.
Tommy ventures with a group, encountering lurking hunters eager to strike. Eventually reaching the limo, he finds Andy Samberg waiting. Andy presents a choice. Resign now with his life, but no money or continue playing. Tommy adamantly refuses to quit, prompting Andy to leave him in the familiar warehouse. He's entering the warehouse. Numerous hunters appear for a final attack. Miraculously, Tommy evades them and reaches the last room alone. To his surprise, producers and a crowd of hunters congratulate him on winning the game. They reveal his prize, one million Danish krone, Greenland's currency. In the next scene, Tommy informs his skeptical family about his victory, scolding them for not believing him. Despite the success, they doubt him, especially since he's not an instant millionaire. Tommy discloses the payment in Greenlandic currency, doled out in 4,000 krone monthly installments for 250 months. Despite the challenges, he deems it all worthwhile. In a new chapter, Tommy rents an apartment where he and James begin living together. In the final scene, Tommy determined to reconcile knocks on Maddie's door, hopeful for a fresh start.